Welcome to episode 11 of Flow's Fundamentals. In this episode, we will consider the essential rules for adding the Ominous Onyx booster deck. First fundamental mechanic is the Celebrity Bunnies. They have several similarities to the Specialty Bunnies added in the Violet's booster deck. However, they are not compatible with each other. Celebrity Bunnies make triplets with other Celebrity Bunnies. Specialty Bunnies make triplets with other Specialty Bunnies. Neither make triplets with any colored bunnies. There are several mechanics in the Ominous Onyx booster deck that are expanded from previous boosters. For example, we see extra super bunnies that expand upon super bunnies that appeared in Stainless Steel booster. We see more enlisted and officer ranks from the pink and khaki boosters. So if you're unfamiliar with those mechanics, please refer to those fundamentals lectures. The main fundamental mechanic of the Ominous Onyx booster deck is the Mysterious Place cards. Like any other card that isn't a run special or very special, it is played as soon as you draw it and set aside with your saved cards. At the end of the game, there is a winning Mysterious Place card, which allows you to steal all of one type of Zodiac. The more important mechanic of the Mysterious Place cards is the yellow ball with red stripe. The player who most recently drew a Mysterious Place card controls this yellow ball with red stripe. What does that mean? That means that whenever an opponent plays a card with that symbol on it, you can see, for example, Sunny Day has the yellow ball with red stripe symbol. The player has that yellow ball with red stripe. They control the destiny of the card. Now, what does it mean to control the destiny of a card? Essentially, you get to choose how the opponent plays, or perhaps doesn't play, the card. And this can be only done within the standard rules of the card. So, for example, if it's an aggressive card and your opponent does not have a bunny, you will not be able to play the card. It will be discarded as usual. Or if a terrible misfortune is drawn, that terrible misfortune will first have to be applied to one of the opponent's bunnies. And then, if they don't have any, and you could choose someone else, just like normal rules. It's merely you controlling how the opponent plays it. All normal rules for playing the card apply. Now what does it mean in this context for the opponent to first play the card? Within this context, any card that comes from the top run or directly from the hand is affected by the yellow ball with red stripe rule. It does not include save specials. It does, however, include specials that the opponent has the intention to save. So if your opponent has a has Sunny Day in their top run card and they wish to save it, you can control the fate of their Sunny Day and you can force them to play it right that instant. You could force them to discard it, but allow them to save it. That is all perfectly legal. But once the Sunny Day is saved, it is outside of your control. Even when they decide to use that save special, it remains outside of your control. In the context of the yellow ball with red stripe, only cards played from the hand or from the top run are affected. This has been episode 11 of Flow's Fundamentals, looking at the essential rules for adding the Omnis Onyx booster deck. And as always, Jeff Bless.